As I'm graduating, I'm starting to remember how I first felt when I started high school. I was really scared and I didn't know what to expect. There was a lot of like things that people talk about, but I didn't really know how it was going to go for me. So after um, going through these four years and meeting tons of people that I really admire and I enjoy spending my time with, I've made a lot of unforgettable memories at school and outside of school on school trips and stuff. And those I think are the things I'm going to remember the most, as well as just like seeing people in the hallways and saying hi or eating lunch with them, I think I'm going to miss that the most. Okay, so final thoughts about high school. I'm definitely feeling a lot of sadness just because um, the idea of not um, coming back here next year, not seeing the same people that I've been seeing the past four years, not having the same teachers and having the conversations, that's gonna be really hard. Through this time, I've been able to reflect on like all the years that I've been here and like all the super crazy fun experiences that I've been able to have. And I'm just so thankful that I decided to, I chose this school and I decided to come here because I truly think that it shaped me into the person that I am today. And I'm just so thankful for all the people that I've met and I'm really hoping that I'm able to stay friends and stay in contact with all those people because they've just held such an important place in my heart. I'll always be a wildcat, but like not being able to like represent the school like in sports or like at a school, like that's gonna be really hard. But I'm just so thankful that I am able to say like, oh, I went to Villanova and I was able to meet all these like great people. Another thing too is uh, senioritis is real and I'm definitely feeling that right now and I have zero motivation but we're gonna get through it and it's gonna be all good. So uh, some of my final thoughts getting to the end of high school. I think of a couple of my favorite memories. One being my first football game. Now it didn't exactly go as I planned. Got thrown around for the first little bit but uh, it ended up being good, one of my favorite memories, because it's an experience that I didn't have until high school, and I guess I got the opportunity to. A little later, because of COVID, I started in grade 11, but I was pretty awesome. Or another one was our dodgeball win and the tournament intramurals from lunch, because that was, I don't know, that, that was just fun, and it was a good memory with my friends. It was right before the break, so I just kind of thought I was on a good start, and then we, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I guess enjoyed the break after that, and it was it was nice. Now that we're graduating, it just all feels really surreal. Um, I feel like I'm not fully ready to move on to university, but I'm a little bit nervous, excited. Uh, since we kind of lost that first year of uh, grade nine, it's. It seems like high school has gone by so fast, but I'm just really excited to move on to the next chapter and I'm going to be sad to leave all of my favorite teachers behind. Seeing that grad is coming up so soon, I would say one of my favorite memories is probably grade 12 day. As most people know, we didn't get a grade 9 day. So we didn't really get that experience to like become close during the first year. So in grade 12, even though we've been together for four years, this was kind of our chance to do that. So all of us have different groups, but it was nice to be able to be one that day. And even though we have prom and grad, it's just a different experience. It's very formal. This event was not like that. We all just had fun. But yeah, it was, it was a great way to end the year.